This tutorial is going to cover the basics of using the PDSpec vehicle inspection software app for the iPhone, iPad, as well as Android phones and tablets. For this video, we'll be taking a look at the app on the iPhone. However, the app will look and run the same way on the iPad as well as Android devices. To get started, we already have our app open. We're now looking at the opening screen. On this screen, we're able to open an existing inspection or start a new inspection. We're going to tap on new to start a new inspection. When you start an inspection, you go to the choose template screen. Here, you can select a template from the local device or from the cloud drive. We're going to tap on the detailed vehicle inspection from the local device and use this template for the example. When we tap on it, it takes us to the Save As screen. This is where we can give the file a name. Let's go ahead and name this file a 2008 Chevrolet Impala. When finished typing in the name, let's tap on Continue. We are now looking at the Choose Category screen. This screen is where we navigate from category to category. You can scroll up and down and see all the categories by simply swiping your finger. If you look at the gray toolbar along the top, we have several options here as well. First, we have Final Comments and Private Notes. Next, we have Save As. We have Review, which is a spot where you can review the rating summary. We can review all the pictures that have been taken and added to the report. And then finally, we can upload the inspection to our cloud drive. Let's get started filling out information and tap on our body category. We're now looking at the edit category screen. This screen lists all the inspection items that need to be filled out for this section. You can mark the entire category not applicable if you don't need to fill anything out by simply tapping on the NA button at the top. Just like on the previous screen, you can scroll up and down to see all the inspection items by simply swiping. Now to fill out information, there's two different ways to enter information on a line. You can fill out the line on this screen or you can enter the edit line screen and fill it out that way. We'll be taking a look at both me methods. Let's go ahead and fill out the hood line. First on the line, we have the rating. You can enter a rating by double tapping on it. When you double tap on it once, it inserts the first rating. If you were to continue to double tap, it will actually cycle through all the rating options you have until you come across the one that you want. The hood's in great shape, so we're in market very good, and we're ready to move on. Now that the line is complete, you'll notice that the background is shaded green. This is the visual cue to let you know what lines have been filled out and what lines still need work. Now that the hood line is filled out, let's go ahead and move on to front. We noticed on the front that there is some damage to the car. So let's go ahead and cycle through the ratings until we get to the fair rating. Now, since there is an issue, we want to add a note to this line describing what it is. Add a note, we do that on the edit line screen. And to enter the edit line screen, we either need to tap on the word front, or you can just tap directly on where it says notes. Let's go ahead and tap on front. As you can see, we are now looking at the edit line screen. This is the second way to fill out a line. Since we marked the line as fair, we want to add a note explaining what the issue is. And there's two different ways to add a note to a line. First, we can tap on our note dropdown, and we can select something from the list. To do that, simply double tap on the item. And as you can see here, it's been added in. The second way is to use the keyboard. And to do this, you simply type in the note. So let's go ahead and type in another note. You'll also notice that there are two buttons. 
beneath the note box on the edit line screen. The first one is your camera button. When you need to take a picture, you can simply tap on this camera button and the program is going to automatically pull up the camera on your device. Let's go ahead and show how this works. And for this example, we're just going to take a picture of a piece of PD-spec letterhead that we have here. So we're going to tap on the button. We have our picture in front of us. We're going to take the photo. Here we have the preview. We can hit use. On this next screen, this is where we can change the height of the photo as well as add some markups to it. We can add arrows, ellipses, as well as text to the photos. For more information on how that works, check out the tutorial on adding markups. But real quickly, we're going to add two arrows by simply touching the screen and we'll hit close when finished. The second button we have here allows you to bring up your camera roll or the gallery on your device. So if you've already taken a picture that's on the device and you want to use it, you would simply tap on this, it'll open up your picture folder, and then you would select a photo that you want to add, and it adds it in directly on this line. Now, we're ready to move on to our next line item. There are several ways to advance to the next line. First, we can simply tap on the next button in the top right corner. We can also tap on the back button in the top left corner, which will take us to the edit category screen, where we could then select a new line. However, the simplest way is to simply swipe your finger from right to left across the screen. As you can see, when we swiped, it brought us to the front bumper line. You can also use the same swiping motion in the opposite direction to return to the previous line. Let's say that the front bumper is in good shape, so we're going to mark this good. This line's filled out, and we're ready to move on to the next line. Now, we're on the grill line. Let's say this is in poor condition, so we're going to mark it poor. And since it is in poor condition, we want to add a note saying why. Let's go ahead and tap on our drop-down list. We'll say that it's broken. On most devices that you use, you can also use voice recognition when entering information. With this, you actually talk into the device, and it will take what you say and then convert it to text. Let's take a look at how this works. So to do this, we're going to tap on the microphone next to our space bar. This is a new note. As you can see, it took what we said and then converted it to text. At this point, let's go ahead and tap back and return to the edit category screen. Let's go ahead and we're going to scroll down our lines. We see all our lines here. We're going to tap on tow package. Now let's say for the vehicle we're inspecting, it does not have a tow package. So for this, we can actually mark it as not applicable for the rating. Now, if an item is marked not applicable, what this means is it means this item will not show up on the report. Now, if you have a line that you not only want to not show up on the report, but you don't even want it to show up on the screen anymore, you can delete it by double tapping delete line. If you delete a line, it'll simply take you to the next line. If you're working on the edit line screen and you're on the last line in the category, if you swipe to go to the next item, it'll simply take you back to the edit line screen, edit category screen like it did here. At this point, you now know everything you need to be able to fill out a category. When you're ready to move on to the next category, you can switch between categories the same way you can switch between lines. You can swipe to the next category or you can always go back and then select a new category from the edit category list. If you wanted to jump to another category that isn't directly next to the one you're on, you can also tap on the drop down arrow towards the top and this will pull up a list of all your categories. And from here, you could select one of the other categories to switch to. Let's tap back again and go back to the choose category screen. 
you'll now notice that the body category has a yellow section in it. This is a progress indicator letting you know how much of the category has been filled out. Once the entire category is complete, the entire line will be yellow and you'll see a green checkbox to the left of it. Once an inspection is complete, you're going to be ready to upload it to your cloud drive so you can access it on your Windows PC. To do this, we need to be back on the Choose Category screen, which we're at right now. To upload the inspection to our cloud drive, all we have to do is tap the Upload button in the top right corner. Once you do this, you'll see a progress indicator letting you know the progress of your upload. Once the upload is complete, we'll be able to hop onto our Windows PC and then download that inspection from the cloud drive and then modify it or do whatever we need to do to it. This concludes the basics of entering information on the PDSpec Vehicle Inspection Software app.